Now this is content. No, 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 no. Oh, we were intercepted by the communists on the way back with our bloody raw recruits. Don't worry, man. You'll be fine. I'm just going to just go to fuck off over here with you here for a second. Just it's tactically fucking off. It's a tactical fuck off. You understand? <laughs> just need to check something. There are so many. Don't look at me. Don't aim your guns at me. I know what you're planning, you bloody communists. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Throw grenades at the floor. <laughs> yes. No communists at all. <laughs> Please, please, please. I'm trying to shake off my lost cause marketing thing. You're not making any better, you copy bastards. Think of the marketing. That's what you copies are all about, isn't it? That's it. Flee. Flee for your lives. Lost cause. That's fake news. Die. Die, communist pigs. You communist fat cats with your money. One day the money will be back in the rightful hands of the bourgeoisie. What? You don't have any money? Oh dear. Oh dear. What's happened? What's happened? Oh, I've been shot. That's what's happened. Well, that's a terrible tragedy, I suppose. Are we actually going to win? No. No, we're not going to win. You may take me prisoner, communist dogs, but you will never crush the spirit of the lost cause. Not until the great disease is gone. They took my loads of bread, my loads of bread, my loads of bread, my loads of bread, and my horse. Hey, 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 that's just unfair. Oh no, oh no, oh no. While I was in bloody jail, my wife left me. <laughs> no, Yamira, please. Yamira, can we call off the war? I need to go and find her. I'm left with bloody man, and who even is this guy? He's dressed as a Nazi and Borcher. He's got a Nazi helmet, you can tell where he's going. They're in there. Ymira, Rolf, and Nazar are trapped inside Fort Zimniak. There's only 18 men in that party there. I reckon we could actually probably defeat that party and get most of our men back. I'm back, you communist sons of bitches. And this time I've got two more men than you. <laughs> Think you can resist me now? All right, you terrible slobs who I ripped from their beds to come and fight for me in some godforsaken LC, we're calling it now. We'll, we'll call it the LC. <laughs> Sounds cooler like that. Uh, hey, hey, Chad, have you heard about the LC? Oh, yeah, man. we got to get the bourgeoisie back in power. <laughs> bourgeoisie? Weren't those those guys who were already in power? No, 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 man. No, you're, you're thinking something else. <laughs> Resistance is futile. Submit to the Borg. <laughs> Submit to the Borg at once. That's what I thought. I fight for my friends. I won't let my friends rot away in some disgusting pro prison. I bet you told them that having money is bad. That should be against human rights. They're back. Thought you could get away with not fighting for the LC? <laughs> You are back in the LC, my friends. <laughs> Resistance is futile just as much as it is for you as it is for them. Come on now. Okay, so after that minor disaster, we're actually back. <laughs> we're actually back in action. And we eventually took down the enemy army. But we need to get Ymira back, and preferably Rolf and Nazar, because they have our party skills. So what we're going to do, we're going to lay down a save, because I, I, know, I know what happens here. Getting people out of prison is virtually impossible. And then this glitchy thing is going to be even harder than normal. <laughs> I'll sneak into the castle. They immediately recognized me. <laughs> of course. No, 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 no. Oh, look, they all dropped dead. So after many billions of attempts, <laughs> there is just no way to sneak in. It just doesn't bloody let you do it. So now, now that I've snuck in, <laughs> I, did, I just walked in. Everyone accosted me and died. And then the rest of the guards are like, oh, I'm not turning around. I ain't turning around for that shit. <laughs> This is my most devious disguise. I can't tell why they didn't realize I was a member of the bourgeoisie. I'll dress up in their pro rags. Just make a little hole in the front so my cigar will still fit through. And of course, I won't be able to peer into their dirty pro souls without my monocle. Yes, okay. I think they'll take me for one of their own. Hello, good sir. As you can see, I'm dirt poor. And I, I'm just here on a very important business meeting. I mean, very important uh, la lack of morals, wealth or education related event inside this dungeon. Uh, uh, shit, he survived. Oh. <laughs> what is it? 
with people surviving getting shot in the goddamn head. <laughs> Once again, I'm foiled. <laughs> okay, now I'm in the prison with Yamira. At least we can, like, hang out. Uh, I couldn't be away from you for more than five seconds, darling. Uh, Pearl Hunter, I heard the gunshots outside. I heard you screaming about wanting to get into some sort of dirty pro dungeon. No, 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 that was someone else, you see. That, that, uh, that was Soul Hunter. <laughs> yes, yes. A man of pure evil. Yeah, one of the famous, the three Hunter brothers. Pearl Hunter, Dole Hunter, and Soul Hunter. They don't get along, you see. Uh, uh, oh, 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 hang on, hang on. There's someone at the, the Howl Gates. Hey you, Pro Hunter. I know you're fucking rich. Give me 2,381 dinars and I'll just let you out, alright? You're probably trying to get back in and then we'll just do that again. Alright, okay, goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Mira. I mean, I know I couldn't possibly be separated from you for, for any amount of time whatsoever, but, uh, you see, the thing is, this this money, it's just weighing me down. I can't tell my, tighten my bloody belt enough to, to hold my trousers up with all this money in it, so, uh, this is quite an opportune opportunity, <laughs> you see, you see. I see, Pro Hunter. Just fuck off then. Oh, okay, as, as, you, as you insist, as you insist. We are the Borg. Resistance will likely get you quite far with us because we give up at the first sight of a struggle. Mattel? <laughs> Mattel, I've got good news. I've decided to surrender. <laughs> I've decided to surrender everything in the name of love. Uh, please stop singing. <laughs> Oh, if you insist, if you insist, <laughs> dirty pros <laughs> with your pro ears, <laughs> can't take my high quality singing. Oh yes, that's it, Master. <laughs> that's exactly why I want you to stop singing. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> oh, we have a very similar voice, don't we, Mattel? <laughs> oh, it does seem to be that way, sir. <laughs> very good. Now, uh, please, I thought maybe if we can get peace <laughs> with the Vegas, <laughs> I can get my waifu back. <laughs> I need to get my girlfriend out of prison, Mattel, do you see? You see? Do you understand? It's all about my bloody girlfriend. I don't think she thinks she's your girlfriend. I know. I know. But, you know, what, a, what more romantic thing can you do than to break someone out of prison at gunpoint? Yeah, I mean, can't argue with that, Master. Good. And you're right that you can't. This gun's loaded. Now, we're having a truce. <laughs> I have to send someone to persuade them. Marnid and Borcha. To be honest, Mattel, I can't remember who those people are. <laughs> who are they? I thought Borcha was my dog. <laughs> we can't send the dog to negotiate the treaty. Or can we? <laughs> Master, I am not your dog. Oh my god, he can talk. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, Borcha. Oh, you're human. You're human. Sorry. I didn't realize. Hey, let me check your bank account. Let me see. Ah, you see, yes, there you go. You don't have enough money. You see, you have to be above a certain threshold. Otherwise, you don't you don't come into my bourgeoisie sphere, you see. And I just, I just don't even know that you exist. So, uh, I'm glad that it's not my fault. It is your fault. Off you go, then, Borcha. Take this message to bloody Stalin. And tell him to stop killing me so I can break people out of his prisons. And then we'll get back to it. You know, there's, there's one other thing we could do, actually. There's one other possible way to get us out of the situation where we're kind of stuck in the corner of pro land. We could write to our good friend John Carver of the Confederate States of Balian and ask to be his vassal so that we then have the protection of the Confederacy. <laughs> With the protection of the Confederacy, those dirty communists wouldn't dare declare war on us. Right? I don't know, but I'd like to see what, what he says if I ask. Aha! 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 Marnid's back. Oh, you're the Nazi one. Okay, right. I'm gonna start remembering your names. You've become so useful to me. I found you. At last I found you. I was looking for hours for your office. It's the one with the leaky roof and the two Nazis in it. You'll feel right at home. Anyway, uh, John Carver seems willing to improve relations with Prole Hunter. What? Don't speak to me like I'm not in the bloody room. He says he'll accept an offer of vassal ship. Oh, I have to go and swear to him a bloody gan. Oh my god. <laughs> and he'll refrain from making war on me? What sort of... Was, was the bloody confederacy about to declare war on the Borg kingdom? They're like, okay, we'll hold off from killing these weird old Borgs. <laughs> Seems maybe they want to be on our side. 
I will r I'll write him a handwritten letter insisting that of course, of course I will accept his vassalship. <laughs> I'll write it in a language that he can understand. Yee-haw. Right, that should do it. Send it off. Anyway, welcome back to the team. So I have to go and actually ask for vassalship. That's going to be a problem. Okay, we need to travel light and fast. We'll drop all of our troops here in the garrison. And then we'll make another trip back to Texas. <laughs> you see, Marnet, it's called the bourgeoisie sneak. You see, is it? What the? Oh, bloody Porsche founders. I said do the bourgeoisie sneak, Marnet. That's how it goes, okay? Anyway, uh, uh, it looks like old Steel Man wants his fort back, so he doesn't want peace. Well, come back into the team, Borcher, I guess. Uh, we're going to Texas again. <laughs> we'll go to Texas again. Look, I can't go five minutes without going to Texas, but there's no women in Texas. I know. I know, Borcher, okay? We've been there. There was this one woman, her name was Southern Belle, but I don't know what happened to her. Anyway, there you are. Presidente, Presidente, Prolhunter. <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to forgive your impudence in proclaiming yourself king of all the world. Oh, you heard about that? Yes, yes, my... Oh, no, that was my girlfriend's idea, you see. She went around telling everyone that I told her to tell them that I was now king of all reality. The thing is, I recently learned that you're the king of all reality. So uh, I will, I'll, I'll ally to you once again. <laughs> Remember the last time when I did this? <laughs> I let us dispense with the formalities, Pearl Hunter. You gonna swear homage to me? It's pronounced homage, you fuck. I mean, yes. <laughs> Where are my manners? Yeehaw. <laughs> okay, we've done it. We've done it. And yes, that forces us into a peace with the bloody communists. What? We have to give our shit back? No! No! My sh I worked long and hard to cheat to give me- Oh, now it's part of the bloody confederacy, that's why. <laughs> Interesting. So I don't own it anymore. Does he own it? Did I give- That wasn't part of the deal. I thought I'd get to keep it. Southern fuck. <laughs> Where's he gone? Look, Carver, you piece of shit. I'm here to kick your yee hass over this goddamn thief deal. Um... Can I suggest a course of action? You don't know me well enough. Oh, he fucking hates me. <laughs> what? I guess he doesn't like me because I left the Confederacy before. Can, can, can I seriously have my fief back? <laughs> Please. Oh, thank the Lord. I do still own the fief. <laughs> it's still on my budget thing, at least. They're still bloody in there. Okay. We are on, boys. <laughs> We are on. Let's lay down a save and begin mining away at this situation. Just stand here. Right. Now I'll raise this grenade in my hand and begin our conversation. Oops. Oh, <laughs> just raise it automatically. Just to practice. <laughs> you enjoy that. I've got another one for you in a second. Uh, I need to speak with the prisoner. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Give me the keys. Right. Throw the grenade. Get the keys. Go into the dungeon. I got shot, but it's fine. Okay, we're in. <laughs> Can't go five meters when I got our picture of Stalin. Okay, now where is that? Your mirror. How do I? D but I. <laughs> there must be. A Wait, I can't. How do I get you guys out? I, I picked up the keys, didn't I? You get the keys for killing the guy, don't you? Can you come closer to the bars? If you come closer to the bars, I could talk to you. <laughs> I can't, you're too far away, your mirror. <laughs> Why are you backing away from me, darling? What about you? What was your name, Rolf? <laughs> yes, another one of the Nazi fellows. <laughs> Come on, Rolf. Stand closer to the bars. <laughs> what do you want from me, Rolf? <laughs> I don't know what we can do. Okay, so we actually can't do the prison escape minigame secrets thing. Because we're, they're not close enough to the bars to talk to them. This is a foul scheme of the goddamn proles, for sure. Aha, Yamira, you thought, <laughs> you thought you could get away from me. Now I'm in here with you. I suppose we can't actually talk to her while we're in here either, so yeah, they just, they just let us out. Right, well this has been a gigantic disappointment, so what we have to do instead is wait for her to be released and then go find her somewhere in the world. <laughs> the things I do for a form of love. Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs>